Irish body, I guess, calls. I can't remember what it was called. And so whenever she heard the Fitzgerald say Shakeology was amazing, then she was like, oh, I want that. So I was super excited. It still took another week for her to like commit to it, but it taught me a lot about following up, which is outside of my comfort zone. And I'm glad because it, it worked. And so she was able to sign up as a coach this week. So I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I know Neil and I will talk about that often. Um, and I know I've shared this with both of you, both Brittany and Stephanie personally, uh, the whole, um, when you hear it from somebody else, it's so much more like, oh, it is legit. Rather than like when your best friend hears it just from you, even though they've been following you and they've like seen that you're drinking your shakes or doing your workouts, it makes like a total difference. And that's why I love our third party tools, um, especially those. Well, the ones from corporate are awesome. People still are like, oh, but that's like a corporate video. Like, of course, they're going to say like the best things ever on those. But when you have those opportunity to do the sneak peeks um, or something along those lines, um, even videos, if you if any of us start sharing videos, I know like Brittany has a testimonial video on on your page on your Instagram just about your journey and health like those are really good things to share with people to be like no like you've got to hear this girl's story it sounds just like you so kind of like getting to know each other a little bit too will help because we'll be able to say no you've got to go follow like Stephanie and what she's sharing about her journey with doing 21 day fix for the third time with her community you know whatever it is that would relate to that person because I think that that really does help and speak volumes too so that's awesome congrats on your new coach and getting her signed up and uh having the third party tools and the follow-ups, follow-up, 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 for sure. <laughs> Brittany, do you want to share a win? Okay, Brittany might be typing. Um, I'm like, I don't know, there it is. Your washer machine is going crazy. <laughs> And it's loud. Okay. Well, if you want to share any wins in the comments um, on the chat, I'll, I'll read it out loud. I totally get that. Um, I will share a win for me this week as I finally feel my mindset has switched. Um, I really was struggling at the start of this month and I don't really truly know why. Like I'm still kind of like, I mean, I sort of think I do, but then I'm also like, I don't know if that's it or if there's just a lot of things that were holding me back. And normally I start off each month and I'm like, oh, can't wait to hit success club 10 this month. Can't wait to help like three new people at least and help like two of my current customers just like re up their nutrition. You did it. Thank you. Um, and re up their nutrition and really just get going. Like I normally start my month off like that. And I didn't used to like, that was something. And so I started my month off. Like I used to start it off where I was like, oh my God, I have another month of hitting success club. Oh God, I don't know if I can do this. Like that was how I started. And I finally flipped, flipped the switch and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get like, I, I wanted seven new team members this month, but I'm like, I'm so excited to get like three new team members. And like, I really feel my energy has shifted to where I'm like, no, no, like you will get like two to three new team members, like ready by the end of this month that are people excited to do the workouts, excited to do the supplements and excited to like learn a little bit more about the team and the culture and stuff to see if it would be a good you know journey for them. So that is my win as I finally feel my energy shifted because it has been really hard. That's a win for everybody here. <laughs> this house um, I, love you. <laughs> I would like to i guess my win for the week would be um that i i decided to switch to uh, a low carb week like a week of nutrition just to switch it up because i've been on the same uh, nutrition plan for a while so i wanted to do a, a week of low carb and i pretty much followed it to the t for the most yeah. part i think so um so that's a win for me just to be able to to switch it up and follow it without really falling off at all, I think. Yeah. So and will you explain that further? Cause like I know if I was just following regular ultimate portion fix, I would be like, wait, how are you doing that on a beach body program? Are you still following a beach body program or is this like something right, right. else? So, are you doing keto? Like what are you doing? So I've I've been following Body Beast. That's kind of one of my favorite programs because it is uh, focused around more muscle okay. and putting on weight, which I need to do. I've always been fairly naturally lean. Um, so putting on weight's a big deal for me. Um, so on the plan, you eat a higher carb diet. I think I'm getting like uh, portion fix wise, I'm getting like 11 yellow containers and like five reds and anyway, so it's a little higher. And then on the third phase, it's meant to um, kind of cut back down a little bit and lose a little bit of the extra. Um, so the phase three plan switches and puts you on low carb, like uh, three yellow containers and eight proteins uh, to meant to kind of, you know, kind of get back down and kind of uh, lose a little bit of extra 
that you get, you know, to finish out the program. So that's kind of what I did. I just threw a weekend of phase three because I'm about to start another round with a, with a buddy, um, another coach actually, um, on our team and on like Monday. So I wanted to kind of just kind of reset too, because, you know, if you're on the same diet for a long time, your body starts to get used to it and no your progress kind of stops. And that's what I kind of saw too. I was like, eh, my progress has kind of stopped a little bit. So I wanted to just switch it up, but, um, but yeah. 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 So. You have followed it even the night that I had popcorn. Yeah. And I was trying to follow the body beast. Uh, I was trying to do the body beast workout. And we'll talk about this a little bit in the products of the product section. Um, but sometimes you also realize that it's just not where you need to be and you want it and you need to try something different that focuses more on what you want. Um, I'll share Brittany's win since I know that she was talking about her washing machines really loud. So Brittany says, my win is even though everything this month has been off, I still have shown up in my workouts and have shared how I've shown up. And I've seen that she's just been sharing in her stories consistently, like every single day when the workout's tough and how it's tough and how she's just doing it anyways and how she's doing her Bible study, even when it's tough and when like mom life is just really bearing down. And so even you really have shown up really well for, for everybody, um, showing that even through the struggles that you can still find some gratitude and still focus on some good, good things. Um, it looks like we're going to have kids with us this whole time. Um, let's see here. I'm going to share my screen and, um, where's the screen sharing at? Oh, goodness. Let me just expand this. Oh, it's the screen button. Hello, silly Tan. All right. And we are is it this link? Yes. All the tabs, team calls. Okay. So we have shared our wins and now we're going to go into just um, shout outs for stats for March success club and volume. So huge congrats to uh, Stephanie who has two new coaches and Cody who has one new coach. Yay. And Cody Wallace is already at success club six, which is huge. Is this Cody's First or second month hitting success club? I might be her first. Actually. It might actually be her sure. very first month hitting success club. Um, I can't remember now. I feel so bad. So I'll need to um, get in touch with her and see. Because if so, um, one of the things that she does get now, if this, I know this is her first month this year. So I think it is. She'll get the Peach Body um, little ball cap, which I'm loving mine. Um, I really, really love it. And I can't wait to get Neil to success club because I'm going to get it in the other color too. The girl color that's more of the pink. So I'm like really excited. I'm like, okay, I like this so much more than I thought. So I'm going to get him to success club sometime and I'm like oh he already has two points maybe we should try to um, get myself to success club 10 and then get two other people helped out um, with his business center so we'll see um, but also we've got Haley Jenny um, Neil myself all with two points and then Stephanie with four points so Stephanie you're really close to hitting success club again for the month and when Stephanie hits it this month she is a success starter which is so cool because then she'll earn her opportunity to be in a beach body coach test group for either a program or a product and you'll get your free ticket to summit which I know it went virtual so I'm sure that they're going to do something a little different for success starters um, with it virtual are you clapping that's sweet right yes um Let's see here. I'm gonna pull the chat up too. And also I'm gonna pull participants up so that I can see this. Yay. Okay, um, in case if people pop on while we're doing. So weekly volume, again, our volume um, for the for the month is the goal towards uh, getting 500 volume points. So that's just about 125 volume points a week. Um, some volume, some weeks are gonna be higher. It, again, it's all about your energy and where your inviting is. And I will say like 500 for me didn't happen right away. 500 um, every month. I mean, I would say it took me months and months and months to get there because I wasn't really good at retention in the beginning of my beach body business. So that's something that um, at some point we'll probably got, dive deeper into. Um, beach body does a really good job now at um, there's like a success club system tracker and a Shakeology tracker. So when people get a bag of Shakeology, there's the little like tracker, the questions each week. So us as coaches, that's something really helpful to start asking our customers each week, the same questions that are on there. And I'm not even in the flow of that yet. And that's something that I'm like, I really need to do. So I think that that would really help my retention as well. And doing the same thing with the other products with Energize, it's so easy for people to see and experience the difference right away. With Shakeology, it just takes a little bit longer. So so I just have to remind my customers about the benefits of Shakeology more and more. So that's just kind of a note to sell. What are you about to add? No, yeah, we, we'll, we'll have to dig into retention sometime a little yeah. deeper. But just one thing that the, you know, way to look at it, obviously it's, it's a lot less effort to follow up with an existing customer and uh, have them continue to purchase from you than it is mm -hmm. to go out and find somebody brand, brand new. new, start from scratch, uh, share convince form you know 
so so just retention is important so you'll see the volume of your business um you know that that's where everything comes from if you're wanting um to earn income from this obviously so it's a lot less um work on your part to just make sure you're following up with existing customers make sure mm -hmm. they're happy um than to go out and find uh you know brand new people every month or every week yeah you know, so. yeah it, re it really is um and I know the one thing that I have to do with a lot of my people is just teach them how to make Shakeology so that it tastes good for them. Um, and I have been doing that. Like, that is one thing that I feel like I'm decent at now. But announcements. Okay, so virtual meet your team in Sandestin, Florida. Um, so virtual summit. So Beachbody is not going to be in St. Louis this year for our annual coach summit. We are going to be here in Sandestin, though. So my upline, our upline, Melissa Hudgens, um, kind of extended to the team the opportunity to go to Sandestin. Sandestin is a beach and golf resort. And we actually had traveled there as a family uh, three times before we moved here to 30A. And I really, I was thinking about like, this would be a really good opportunity if you and your family haven't done a vacation and you want to do a vacation, I would highly recommend Sandestin, even without it being virtual summit, because we just had such a good time. You get a golf cart and you basically can go from the Bay side with all of these outdoor fun activities and restaurants over to the beach side. And you don't have to go, like you can literally go in your golf cart the whole time, um, even to the grocery store. So uh, there's just a lot that, of activities right there, um, bike rentals, paddleboard rentals, and it's just a really good family vacation. So I am kind of like thinking, I, after I started thinking about it more, I was like, I would just rather you guys almost, if you haven't planned family vacation and you're open to planning family vacation, do it in Sandestin. And if you can do it the week of summit, like really truly try because we as a team will meet up and do workouts together. We will meet up and we will, the virtual training that was now happening. Um, Melissa Hudgens is going to get, um, she's gonna get a, um, like a room and a projector and we'll just be watching everything on a big projector screen. So we'll be able to then communicate and connect with other coaches and really meet people. Um, Oh, I didn't realize that this was your favorite uh, vacation spot um, before Stephanie. That's awesome. Yeah, we that was the only place that we had been before we moved to 30A. And we just so happened to move here mm -hmm. instead of there. We'd actually thought we wanted to live in Sandestin. There just wasn't anything available to rent long term at the time. Um, but I'm super grateful to be here. It is it is super pretty. Like there's so much nature and activities. So I'm really excited about that. So just kind of keep that in mind um, as something that you could do with your family. And then if you're comfortable coming into some of the summit activities to do that, um, I just think that that's going to be incredible. Or if you don't want to do a family trip, but you want to come solo, um, there's a couple of girls from our team that have already asked me which of our girls are coming because they would really love to split a room to split costs because uh, they know Neil and I are going to bunk together and like they were open. These were girls that were open to having Neil and I in their same condo, but I was like, well, let me just see which of my girls. So I know that there's a poll in the Be Well coaches page for who's going right now. I feel like Jenny's the only other one that is going um, and she's here local and she said that she was probably just going to stay at her house and drive to and from. But, um, and Stephanie, I know you, you said you were going to watch virtually. Brittany, have you thought about it much? Yes, I actually have a note to myself to kind of look at what things look like for us. And yeah. because I have Young Living's virtual convention literally the month prior, um, and we're doing a house and condo kind of near here for our team. But yeah. I am looking at it because I would love to be able to come down. So uh, yeah. um, that's why I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. I would, I would just love it. Like I'm like getting really, I'm really stoked. Uh, Stephanie, I really wish that you were coming down too. Um, and so I know I'm going to talk to Cody today about it. Um, talk, Jessica Powell's normally the, like the person that's, um, that's like last minute on stuff. I always think about it. She like texts me and she's like, Hey, I'm at summit. And I'm like, <laughs> When did you register? She's like today. So she's done that three times or two times now. Um, so I'm just going to try to see who all from our team wants to come. And I've even talked to a couple of our coaches that are literally just doing this so that they get their discounts on Shakeology because it is so fun. And who doesn't want to come on vacation? And Stephanie just said they've just relocated to New York. So we'll see if we can swing it. What? Ooh. From Texas okay. to New York. Okay. This is news. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We're actually moving in May 1st. So we'll see. We usually go to 
Florida every summer. So we'll yeah. see if after that move, if we can also swing a Florida trip. It's a lot of yeah. driving. We'll see. Yeah, that would be a long, a long drive, but that would be so, that would be, yeah, it feels like fly. <laughs> that would be really cool if your family could all come. Um, Cause depending on like what happens with our team, if it's, if there are some families that come, we'll do something family wise. Like we'll do something that's more family oriented. And that's always been a big vision of mine. And Michelle, my coach knows this, like my goal has always been to do a, a team retreat where it's like, Hey, here's a retreat for like the coaches that are, are rocking and rolling with their business. But then like, here's a, a vacation for the whole family. And like, I've always wanted to be at a place in, in my life where I'm just like, and I'm paying for it all like Oprah. And that's not where I'm at, <laughs> but I'm just you like, did you did you did <laughs> and that's like, it's just like, a huge dream of mine to just be able to like treat I, I think that that's my love language I guess is gifts like that um but it's more like adventure gifts so there's gonna be some fun stuff happening around that time um and we'll figure out like who's coming and kind of gear it towards that but um the other announcement is salted caramel shakeology is a seasonal flavor and it releases next I believe the 23rd is Monday um so it's releasing next week or maybe Tuesday Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. um it's a pretty good flavor it was one of those like I think a lot of us were like oh salted caramel like salted caramel mocha frappuccinos it is not a salted caramel mocha frappuccino it is straight up salted caramel so you have to like salted caramel we like it neil likes it i yeah, like it mixed well, with ca uh cafe latte or I say, chocolate i like it with chocolate like half salted caramel yeah. half chocolate throw a little mocha in there and it, yeah. uh, it's a little better but on its own it's just got a little bit of weird taste and they do i mean they will tweak the the, the formula, formula yeah. based on feedback so this year it could taste even better than it did last year mm -hmm. um so i don't know yeah so yeah. Yeah. Cause they've, they've, I mean, every time they get a seasonal flavor, we at least get a box of it. Um, so I'm really excited to at least get a box of it. I think last year we got like two, but, um, the one that's never been bad is peppermint mocha. Yeah, oh my gosh. That one's there, legit. Right? And that's a December launch, no, November, December. So yes. <laughs> Stephanie's like, when is that? <laughs> you like just missed it. Um, they I, actually could, I, I was going to say still, they absolutely. might still have some on the website. You could look peppermint mocha or just like click on the Shakeology on Team Beachbody or um, yeah, on the Team Beachbody website. And welcome to the call, Brittany Sterling, by the way. Um, so yeah, anyways, and I know Brittany Sterling, we were just talking about Summit, which I know you're in Canada and like, I'm pretty sure borders are like closed. Is this true? Or am I like too super ignorant? Pardon, sorry. Are borders closed for travel right now? I don't, I really don't, I truly don't know. They yes, are. they are. Okay. They are. Well, They're closed for pleasure purposes. So yeah. this is business. This is business, actually. It is. I also um, don't have a passport. And I don't know if you <laughs> saw on the page, we're actually getting married the week before. That's right. Yay. We're getting married so on uh, July 9th. So it's going to be kind of like our first week as a married couple. So oh, yeah. kind of want to pay for that. that. Oh. You know? Well, so, yes. Oh, that's so exciting. Well, good. That is, that is awesome. Um, we'll do some virtual love your way, uh, as a, as a little marriage list. That's exciting. Um, so today's training though, that we've got is product of the product. Um, and I just like, I really, you know, I never really thought about it like this until I started watching some of the coach training videos where, um, Aaron Hopkins does a really great training video and I'm putting this in here. It's the success club system training and you go to vital behaviors. Um, so it's, this is your coach office. And what you do is you, you click on, um, Oh, excuse me. Let me go down here. You go to your coach office and then you click on training and then there's success club system training. And there's some awesome videos in there. Um, the one that I watched for this particular call was 11 minutes and Aaron Hopkins was the one that led it. And so I just kind of took some bullet point notes because her energy in that video was so good. But I was like, this is so true. There is no other job where they're like, Hey, all we really want you to do is show up and have success in your life. All we really want you to do is show up and get healthier by using the workouts, by using any of the nutrition supplements that fit you, the nutrition plans that fit you and just share your story. Like that doesn't happen in my IT job. It wasn't like, Hey, we would love for you to show up and, and just, just talk about how much you just love getting up and working. And you just love typing on your computer and you just love figuring out things behind the scenes. Like, no, that's not what my job was. Um, and that would, nobody would, I wouldn't be attracted to that. But like, how cool is it that our job really is like, Hey, all you have to do is you just show up 
to your workout, even like Brittany Teston said for her win, she was saying like, I showed up and I did my workout and I did my Bible study. So she was doing her mindset piece. She was doing her, her piece of her part of her journey on the physical side and she's showing up and she was sharing that. And that's really all we do. And, um, the other thing is when we're doing, and we're starting to share this, we can't really, we really have to take ourselves out of the equation in what will people think? Because it's our journey and we have to get started somewhere and people are going to relate to us exactly where we're at. I remember being really scared to show up and share my journey. Cause I was like, I am just skinny and nobody cares about this girl who's just skinny and trying to like gain a little bit of weight. Like that's not going to help people. These programs are meant to help people like lose weight. And then I had to realize like, hold up, this program is helping me like gain an appropriate amount of weight so that I can have a cycle. So that's what I shared in the beginning of my journey. And so I had to share that that was what I was doing. What would you like, sweetheart? I need you to You need to see this. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right, come over here. All right, go right here. Okay, be gentle with it. All right. Um, and so the other thing that um, I'm, and this is something that I am not always the best at. Hey girls, could you actually go back that way and do it? Thank you. All right. Hey, I'm taking those pictures. Don't take them out though. Okay. You can flip through them, but don't take them out of the little packet. That's fine. Okay. Sorry. Um, so it's, she just reminded us like, take, take a lot of pictures. And um, that's something that I know um, team wise, like our team culture, I don't think any of us really do it. Um, and if you do, I'm really proud of you. And I want you to share because I know I don't do it as well as I could. Um, Neil even does it better than, than I do. I think the before pictures and the measurements, but she talked about, and I, it really was like, oh my gosh, like take a picture. So for example, like these are like my super tight jeans. And so like they barely button. Um, and so I could take a picture where my super tight jeans are just like, you know, the relax, like they're relaxed, like they button, but like, I have to kind of, you know, I have to really manage them. Um, and so taking a picture in like a pair of jeans, that is something that maybe it fit before having babies and you, they don't fit yet. And doing that at the start of your program, and then taking a video of that same outfit of you turning around and of you talking about it too. That was another thing of you being like, I'm really thinking that this program is going to help me start to trim my waistline and start to tone my thighs differently to where these will fit more comfortably. Cause I really loved these jeans. And you know what, if they don't fit, I'm going to find something else that I love just as much, if not more. Could you girls go in the other room with that? Daddy's going to bring you in the other room. Um, and so it's just, and then doing the same thing, but in like your sports bra and she even recommended, and I was like, holy cow, I didn't think about this either. So she was talking about doing it in shorts and not just in like compression tights. And I was like, oh, because like compression tights are going to make all of our stuff like, you know, fit differently. But if we do it in just like shorts, even compression shorts, but like maybe not super tight compression shorts so that you can see the lines is a really good thing. So, um, so she just said like, really be real and raw. And so one thing that I want us to do, this is like my big ask. And this is something that like, all right, I have to do it too, is in our team page. I would love for each of us to do this for ourselves. So no matter if you're at the end of nine week control freak or the middle of morning meltdown 100 or on your like, 70s on her third round of of 21 day fix like let's just do it and do a little short video of us either in our workout clothes or in like the the tight jeans type thing um saying like these this is like this is where i'm at in my journey and this is where i want to be so no matter if you're trying to just gain muscle because you really love where you're at right now or if you're trying to lose a little bit more weight and share it in the team page because that's a comfortable like i think that that's just where um and if you're comfortable, of course, share this on your on your normal page, on your um, Instagram, on your Facebook. But I want to for sure all of us up in this next week to take a video um, and sharing it on our team page. You too, by the way. Cool. Yeah. I'll be taking before photos, so that'll work. Out. Yeah, that'll work out. So just a short, like, thirty second clip, nothing crazy. Just like, oh, these jeans were really hard to get on, but I'm really excited because I know that if I stay consistent with my nutrition, my shakeology, and really focus on my workouts, then I know that I've seen other people do this, and I can do it too. All right. Um, I've really got to clean files. That startup just theme keeps popping up. Um, the next thing is make a public declaration. So post scared is what she said, because it's a whole new layer of accountability. And that is so true. I know anytime that I have personally shown up and just started like sharing about my journey, um, 
because I've done this multiple times, especially with the three week programs. I think, cause I know I only have to like post for like three weeks, super consistently. I'm really good at being like, all right, this is day one of the ultimate reset, or this is day one of 21 day fix. And I don't ever say like 21 day fix ultimate reset. I say like my, my 21 day cleanse or my three week fitness journey. Um, so just post, like I am doing this because, and then why you're doing it. So for me, my next program, I'm doing this, this program that I've done years ago because it was the one that got me the best butt and the best abs. And I know that's a little vain, but I live in a place where we basically live in bikinis all summer. And I'm really, truly not feeling comfortable with the way my stomach looks. And I also really want my butt perky again. So I'm going to do this program and I'm going to focus all in on the nutrition plan, which really scares me because I know it's hard. And I just remembered that I have to cut out alcohol and that really makes me sad. So that's what I'm going to share. Cause like, that's a big, like, that's a big deal for me to cut out alcohol. Neil knows that y'all know that everybody knows that <laughs> anyway, um, daily and weekly photos and check-ins is something else that I know I don't do. Um, so again, like these are all things that I'm like, Oh my gosh, like being a product of the product, like, why aren't we doing this? This is so, this really is like how we like, this is all we're, we're asked to do to, to just show up and do our own stuff. But then it's that extra level of okay, I'm doing it, but then I'm also sharing it. Um, so daily and weekly photos and check-ins, including a video of some of the mindset shifts that are happening along the way. So um, one of my coach friends, a couple of my coach friends, actually, they'll post a transformation every single Monday of just like, this is where I'm at. Like, this is where I'm at. And it might seem like it's boring, but to your people that are watching you, they're like, damn, Brittany's consistent. Wow. Stephanie's been doing this for like four weeks now. I can't believe that they're still doing this. So it's just one of those extra layers again of accountability for you. Um, and it also shows that like, okay, these are people that I can actually know, like, and trust. What is this community that they're doing this with? Like, how are they able to actually do this? Like here I am eating potato chips at 8 PM on a Monday. Um, because I'm just like bored out of my mind and scrolling Facebook. So the next thing is just be real and authentically you. So again, nobody, honestly, like nobody really wants to see only the final stage. They aren't going to know how you got there and they're not going to believe you as much if you're just all of a sudden like super toned and trim or super successful. They want to know the struggles in between because that's how you're going to be able to relate to them. And that's how you're going to be able to help them through. So, um, that's really all I have for, for like this being a product of the product, but I loved, um, I guess that's not all I had. I love, this is something that I, I wanted to do. So if you go back through our Voxer thread, which I know you're not in our Voxer thread, Neil, but if you go back through our Voxer thread, there's so many different ladies on here that are loving different programs, loving different nutritional supplements. So why I asked for all of us to start sharing was, um, like, for example, Stephanie shared, um, her favorite product is with Shakeology. It's literally obliterated obliterated her sugar cravings. Um, and so for Brittany Teston, morning meltdown, hands down, because you love Jericho's vibe. So I could easily do Instagram stories where now I'm like, all my friends are doing different workouts. All of our community members are doing different workouts and different programs. Here's a little bit about what they have to say and why they're loving it. So loving the vibe, loving that the sugar cravings are gone. Best drink that I've ever tasted, like things like that to just show that it's not just you and you can take a screenshot of this or you can, you know, put it into a, like a quotable, however best feels for you. So, um, I think sharing with each other, what it is that we're enjoying and what we're using is really helpful. And I need to share in here too. Um, I'll share verbally. I actually love the power greens, um, because the power greens make me start my day with vegetables and it already gets me like half a servings of green every morning. Um, cause I take a scoop of the power greens I mix it with a little bit of orange juice and water. And then I just start my day. So I'm outlining my body out and it just really helps me feel like I just gave myself an instant success, an instant win, um, before I've done anything else, um, in my entire day. So that's a product that I actually really love and, um, am super grateful for. Plus, even though I won't be drinking for a while, it is my go-to when I am drinking because it does alkaline your body out. So in between wine and cocktails, I just got really sad. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I can do it. You got your bevy. I got my bevy. I got my bevy. I got my greens. I got my energized. I can do it. Yeah. Just to, just to piggyback on that though, sharing, uh, sharing like testimonies or just um, snippets like, Hey, so-and-so is loving this or so-and-so is down. 
10 pounds, even if, it, even if it's another coach um, or challenger that's not like necessarily someone you signed up, it's mm -hmm. still great to share that. Like, people need to see that other people are doing it. <clears throat> if they just see that you're doing it, that's fine. But like, <laughs> it's that, it's that again, that, uh, that third party. Going to believe it. They're going to believe it more when they see, oh, other people are actually doing this. There must be something that I'm overlooking or maybe I need to take a deeper look. Right? Yeah. And I think, sorry, as you said that, I just really wanted to reiterate one thing that's, that's really easy to do is when you're doing your workout or your shakes or um, you're eating and you're sharing it into your stories, tag a couple of the coaches, because then we can reshare that onto our own stories. And that is just another being proof the product works. Um, and then that also, all of this takes care of the recognition piece too. So like, that's another vital behavior that we're going to talk about next week. Um, and so it's just one of those like, they piggyback off of each other really beautifully when we can start to um, to share that and tag each other. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but no, it just kind of no, reminded me. It's all on yeah, the same same lines. Yeah, sharing yeah. other stuff and other content. Don't don't feel like you got to be evergreen on everything um, that you do. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just share. There's power in sharing other people's things. If Tamara makes something, you know, it's great to tag somebody so they can reshare. You know, so it's just all that stuff. It's, it makes life easier because all you have to yeah. do is just. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> no. Brittany, Brittany, Stephanie, you guys want to add anything? Oh, easy. Braylon? Yeah, I can add that. Um, yeah, so posting for me, I like posting about other people for as far as results, but it's hard for me to post my like before and afters. I don't know. I just feel like it's hard to to switch the mindset of saying being a coach, you want to show your journey too, but I also like showing my my clients. Like I like posting those. Those are easy for me, but showing my own personal one is a little harder. So I have done it twice. I'm like trying to do it weekly and I'm pushing through to do that, but it, it does help. I think posting others as well. Like Tamara, when you post something, I'm like, Oh, I could share that thought. And it kind of just keeps people going. I think that that's really, uh, that's really true. Especially we all will come from different areas. So for me, I'm like, I'm like, over, I'm like, it's easier for me to share me than it is to share other people because I'm over here. I'm like, do they mind if I share this? Like, is it okay if I share this? It, are they going to like, and then even when people are like, yes, it's fine to share myself. I'm like, are they going to like the way I said it? Did I share, did I share their journey? Okay. Without butchering it? Like, so I'm on the other end of it. So I think we're always overthinking, sharing each other's and sharing our own journeys. And it's just one of those mindset things that we've got to get out of, because again, people are just going to appreciate that we're being authentically ourselves. All right. Anything else to add? Any other questions before we hop off for the day? I had a question, but I, I can't think of it right now. I should have wrote it down. I think it was about um, inviting from that. So, you know, I'm posting these transformations and I put that out there. Do you count, do you personally count that as an invite when you're saying, hey, are you ready to join or let's get going? I'm right here. I mean, that's hard because nobody's yeah. responding to that, but I have to go to them personally in a DM, it seems like to get a response. Yes, that is such, it's so true. People aren't normally going to say like, sign me up right there on your post. It will happen every once in a while. Um, but a lot of times, and they talked about this in this week's national wake up call. So I'm really glad that you said that. So Monday's national wake up call, which I just listened to it, I believe yesterday, um, she talked about and I can't remember her name. I feel so bad. Um, it was Stephanie. Yeah, Mialki. <laughs> Stephanie. Okay. There this is there's Stephanie. That's so, true. but she talked about like people want to be personally invited to the birthday party. They want to know that like they're actually included. So yes, we do want to send the personal invites. But she even talked about how when she posts and when she shares, she will do a public call to action. I, I believe it was like two to three times a week is what she said. And that is a call to action like, hey, I've got this group starting or hey, I've been doing these for a month now, two months now. And I really know that I'm having a lot of fun. And I think that other people could benefit from this too. Would that be something that you would enjoy? Drop an emoji below. And then even if they don't drop an emoji below, you still reach out to them you still like you still thank them like hey i i and stephanie for your point of view you could be like it is 
really hard for me to share my own progress. It's so much easier for me to share those of the people that I'm helping. So thank you so much for just putting a simple heart on me sharing my own progress because that was hard. How are things going for you? So that would be, then you could just lead into the conversation. If it feels right to invite them, um, you can. If it feels better to just carry on a conversation, then that's what you could do for a little while until you think that it's right. You do have to eventually send the invite. And some coaches, right off the bat, they're comfortable sending the invite. It really is, it's just how do you feel? about about it because it will come across in your messages because there's been times where i'm like no i'm just going to invite every single person that liked on this post um and then there's times where i'm like no i'm just going to form communication with most of the people and i'll invite the ones that i've already been talking to so but yeah it's a it is a form of an invite but it's also like you have to take the next step and do the behind the scenes we can't just rely on people liking because like like she said in the national wake-up call um you know, people could hear about how you're having like friends over to your house for a barbecue this weekend. And like some of your other friends could hear about it, but they're not going to show up unless if you actually ask them to show up because they're going to feel like, oh, well, that's for those other people, but not for me. Like, that sounds really fun. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get invited. Um, but if you actually ask them, then they'll show up or they'll say like, oh, I'm actually, even though I really wanted to be invited, I'm actually busy. Like, so yeah, good question. Mm -hmm. What was that? Our kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we have Alicia's fourth birthday party today. Birds of a feather flock together. Balloons, birds, and marshmallows were what was requested. So we are going to finish decorating cupcakes and putting peeps on top of them. Marshmallows, birds. <laughs> like, how did that even happen? This is amazing. Um, but that's what we're up to this weekend. So we're excited. But she's been kind of cranky so i'm kind of hoping she's not a diva today but she's normally not she's just sick a little bit uh, tired hey i just found my water bottle we were talking about this at the start of the call it's laying next to her on the couch i see it now i had to get a different one all right guys i'm gonna stop rambling i love y'all have a wonderful rest of your weekend think about how you can start really being a different like source of the product of the product and what could we each do individually what could you do for yourself to show up and really share that you're actually being a product of the product um how like how often are you sharing up on your stories and when can you tag other people and then um really doing this challenge right here, the video of what you're wanting um, out of your journey and doing it in your workout clothes or in that tight little jeans or whatever. And then sharing that in the team page, like, you know, 30 seconds to a minute doesn't need to be anything crazy, but like, that's a big challenge for all of us this week that I want us to do. Uh, the last things are just don't forget virtual summit, start thinking about where you're going to be for that and how you want to handle that. And then if you want to come to the one in Sandestin and make a family vacation out of it or whatnot. Um, and then salted caramel next week, I highly recommend getting at least one box of it. Um, and if you know you like caramel, get a couple boxes because it could sell out. They, they go through seasons where they just sell out really fast and then other times they don't. So I don't know what this one will be like, but all right, y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Bye, have a good day. Bye. <laughs> yes, see y'all.